Psychopaths, grandiose thinker, taking advantage of others, unable to feel empathy or remorse, and indifferent to right and wrong. Do you feel like you belong to the 1% of the worldwide population who have this antisocial personal disorder? A single question cannot verify if you are indeed a psychopath, but if you are cold, calculated, and lack empathy and remorse, these are excellent signs that you might be. Hi, welcome back to Medical Forum. Today, we will ask you two riddles to determine whether you are a psychopath and walk you through some of their qualities. Disclaimer: Diagnosing psychopathy must be done by a professional. How to tell if you are a psychopath riddle. Riddle number one. While you are at your mother's funeral, you meet a guy or girl you don't know. You find this guy or girl fantastic, your dream partner. You even go as far as thinking that this person is the love of your life. However, you did not ask the guy or girl's number. Therefore, you could not also find anyone who knows who this person is. A few days later, you kill your sister. Why? You think like a psychopath if you know the correct answer to why you killed your sister. Here's the answer. If your sister dies, most likely, you will have the chance to meet the person you're fantasizing about again because they will come to the funeral. Riddle number two. A runaway trolley is about to run over and kill five people, and you're standing on a footbridge next to a large stranger. Your body is too light to stop the train, but if you push the stranger onto the tracks, killing him, you will save five people. Would you push the man? Suppose you said yes in pushing the man. You think like a psychopath. Even if your thoughts are justified, you still committed murder. According to Bortels and Pizarro, people who endorse actions consistent with an ethic of utilitarianism, the view that what is the morally right thing to do is whatever produces the best overall consequences, tend to possess psychopathic personality traits. Are you a dog lover? One of the stranger characteristics of psychopaths is their choice of pets. Bronson, a Canadian psychologist, says psychopaths are almost never cat people. Because cats are willful, he explains. Psychopaths gravitate towards dogs since they are obedient and easy to manipulate. Bronson says he spoke with individuals who would qualify as psychopaths who told him they aren't sad when they hear about people dying. But they get really upset when the dogs die because dogs offer unconditional love. The Nazi leader who killed millions of people, Adolf Hitler, loved his dog Bondi more than his wife Eva Braun. Adolf Hitler gave Bondi, the female German Shepherd, the cyanide capsule so the Soviets would not harass her. According to some of his close associates, Bondi was one of the few beings Hitler truly cared about. He also gave Bondi the cyanide capsule as a sacrifice to test whether the pill would truly end his life and not as a temporary poison to capture him. Was Adolf Hitler a confirmed psychopath? It is hard to know for sure. He was an extraordinarily complex and complicated person. Identifying a psychopath is challenging because, unlike others suffering from mental disorders like bipolar, schizophrenia, or depression, psychopaths look normal. Robert Hare developed a checklist of traits that are typical among psychopaths. To be diagnosed, you need to display at least 15 items on the list. So, tally in how many of these traits you possess. Number 1. Psychopaths. Subscribe to Medical Forum and like this vi- Um... <laughs> Oops, sorry I was reading the wrong list. Uh, m moving on. Psychopaths have the following traits. Considerable superficial charm and average or above average intelligence. Absence of delusions. Absence of anxiety, considerable poise, calmness and verbal facility. Unreliability. Disregard for obligations. No sense of accountability. Untruthfulness and insincerity. Antisocial behavior. Inadequately motivated antisocial behavior. Poor judgment and failure to learn from experience. Pathological narcissism total self-centeredness, and an incapacity for real love and attachment, general poverty of deep and lasting emotions, lack of empathy, ingratitude for any special considerations, kindness and trust, fantastic and objectionable behavior, after drinking and sometimes even when not drinking, vulgarity, rudeness, quick mood shifts, pranks for facile entertainment, no history of genuine suicide attempts, an impersonal, trivial and poorly integrated sex life, failure to have a life plan and to live in any ordered way unless it is for destructive purposes or a sham. When interviewed, psychopaths will often reveal themselves in their interviews as most of them have practically the same answers to questions, like, psychopaths need to get people to like them to be easier to manipulate, and that they're often bullies, and to them, it felt good to be the bully. Even if psychopaths make up 1% of the population, studies show that 1 in 4 inmates is a psychopath, but not all psychopaths are delinquents. Some become professionals as they blend well with society. The top professions psychopaths gravitate into include being a CEO, lawyer, in media, sales, surgeon, journalist, police officer, clergy person. Perhaps 4% of the population at the top of the corporate ladder are psychopaths. Therefore, you are four times more likely to find a powerful psychopath than a walking around psychopath. But wait, 
Just because you find yourself answering all the riddles correctly and displaying the signs of a psychopath does not mean you're a confirmed psychopath. However, if you don't have any conscience, for instance, if you steal money and feel no moral qualms about this action, you might pretend to copy how others would react if they were found out. Then perhaps it's time to visit the psychologist. But will you though? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for Medical Forum. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you next time.